anime review. Ding. Magica record review. Rumor has it that if a young girl strikes a bargain with a white fairy, it will grant any wish her heart desires. However, in exchange, she will become a magical girl and must put her life on the line to slay fearsome and fear ferocious witches. Iron Taka, a kind-hearted middle, school, middle schooler from Takasera City, is living proof that these rumors are true. Armed with magical crossbows and the abilities to heal injured, Iro seeks out the labyrinths where witches hide and defeat them before they can prey on humans. Yet Iro has no memory of her wish, and even Kibe, the white fairy himself, seems to have no idea what Iro requested him of. One day, Ira hears a rumor of the city where magical girls can be saved and finds herself on a sunset train to Kamahima City. Unfortunately, she discovers that the witches in Kiara are far more powerful than usual. After a veteran girl named Yuhar Naime is forced to save her, Ira vows to never return. But when a chance encounter with a tiny cubit seems to trigger a distant memory, Yuhara is compelled to investigate the mystery city despite the danger. The main cast. Here we have Takami Ihara. Here we have the veteran Yaskuski Nanami. This is Yue Tusununo. This is Futaba Sana. This is Akino Keda. And lastly, but certainly not least, Miskuski Felicia. Then we have the so-called white fairy, Kube, who I want to yeet into the sun. The plot. Magica Records has 13 episodes. It began January 5th, 2020 to March 29th, 2020. It appeared in the winter of 2020 anime, so the fall, winter such fall season. It is originally based off a game that was transitioned into an anime. It is psychological, drama, magic, and thriller. Each episode is 20 minutes per episode and is rated PG-13. One thing I find interesting with Magical Records is that even though I say I wasn't going to watch any more of these seasons of this of Madoka Roger because of one, Kiba, he just drives me nuts and I feel like every time I watch him, I want Kiba to die. But I thought the point of this review, besides it being a game off a very popular spin-off series of Madoka Roger, the original, which you will see, um a few characters from the original cast in this anime without giving too many spoilers in the, too many spoilers this episode is very interesting and anime is very interesting because there's always that rule in anime that by the third episode everything just falls into chaos like mad chaos and i think one thing is that with madokia magical records is that with it being a spin-off it does have potential of introducing new characters while the most, my why as well introducing old characters from the original but i feel what madoka magica record is that it really focuses on one pl plot which is you are trying to figure out the mystery of her missing sister yue and just getting distracted by other characters that come into her life and try to help her and i think one thing that i found very interesting that even with the story isn't bad it still has that dark element that with any madoka magica uh, series that it will reveal its time at hand especially when darkness comes to light and for the other characters as well i feel like with madoka magica i feel like even though it, it being very dark and very gritty like all its processes before them i feel like with this series it's focused on ira and her sister and then other characters pop in and try to help her but i feel like her ideal of that gets very lost and i feel like it doesn't still go back to that center glue point I feel like, and then, I, I don't know, I just feel like her whole purpose of goal gets lost in the background when you introduce all these other characters, which I feel like, you know, it's fine, you have to introduce other characters so they are, they're more the su supporting cast, as you might think. But also, I think, overall, the animation is lovely, it's stunning, and the voice actors do a very good job with portraying the characters they are given. This anime has a very beginning, middle, and end. And you know, even as though it's based off the video game itself, it does a good job with sticking to the main points, even based off the manga, and also it being a light novel adaptation of the series as a whole. I feel like when you have video games based on anime, it can go into a different direction. There, 
that be sticking true to the material or being right off the course of it, which is fine. You know, a lot of games that interpreted from anime don't really hit the mark or they miss the mark. That's all. It's fine. I feel like with the character and plot the structure is very sometimes very chaotic and not very structured most of the time, but I think that's fine overall. I also feel that um, when you watch the first episode, you feel like her, the main character, has the same color pattern as the original character in the first series. And then also, when you're trying to find your missing sister, and then you forget why you became a magical girl in the first place, that's a lot. And like, how do you forget your um, your wish they made a Kibe? As far as I'm concerned, in this series, you kill one Kibe, you pop this, pop back up. And I'm like, this Kibe is a lot. Because even the Kibe itself can't remember why Iroi wished for his help in the first place. And I'm like, how can both of y'all forget? But then I think also the way it builds up to character plot and development, it does a good way of roller coasting the reader and the viewer on this writer where it makes sure that they are paying attention to the series as a whole, which I like. And overall, I don't feel like it moves too quickly. I feel like you are introduced to the main goal of the main character and other supporting cast along the way. And I think also that the the really the central drive at this point is to top off like the character uh, transformations that will be different and then you're seeing more characters that have the same goal, similar goal, trying to stop the protagonist from reaching their goal and find out the ultimate truth. But overall, I found really good enjoyment of the series since it is having a second season. I can't wait to see how they introduce more characters from the game that it's truly based on and to see how this younger Kibe that's in the series versus the other Kibe, how they correlate in a sense. And I feel like with any magic girl records, you might want to make sure you can handle it because this is a lot of dark psychological that will have on your mental state so hopefully you weren't saying it's very strong to watch this if not i don't suggest you watch this at all but overall i enjoy the plot the characters and they're all scattered pieces of mental school records because this is a world of an anime that i really enjoy that i love getting seeped into every time i watch it so check out mental magical records if you haven't already don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you soon